Good morning, everybody. Welcome to MarketStream.Live and happy Cinco de Mayo. It's the 5th of May, the end of the first trading week in the month of May. And I want to welcome you. <clears throat> My name is Joseph Kizik with the Kizik Group, Securities Offer by Money Block. Let's take a look at everything that's going on in Europe. And <clears throat> Europe opened up light volume, tight ranges, was slightly in the red. The U.S. jobs numbers came out. They've been positive, uh, in line with expectations. The revisions were a little bit mixed uh, from the uh, previous uh, employment data, but still uh, in that positive range, uh, you're seeing that there is a decrease in the overall unemployment here in the United States. Uh, but there's some mixed numbers there uh, that we'll have to take a look at at the opening. Uh, so join us at 930 Eastern Time. But taking a look at Europe, Europe's basically going to be on hold until the French elections are completed. Now, uh, candidate Macron is, has a sizable lead right now as far as the polls are concerned against the right wing candidate Le Pen. But as we went through in the United States, if the Macron supporters do not come out in full force, you could see that the left-hand nationalist candidate could get some momentum. So I think the polls are going to be active. The pollsters are going to be active. Now, taking a look at the DAX, the German index has been performing very well all week. Uh, as a matter of fact, you see it up um, basically five points at 12,652. So it's basically churning right now like the markets have in the United States. They really need a catalyst. Um, Watch large caps, BASF, Siemens, uh, Merck, Deutsche Bank. These are going to be names that are moving to the upside this morning, but they're really going to need to catalyze this market. Um, there are state elections that are going to be occurring in Germany, so you could have some the geopolitical co components start to resurrect its head there in Germany, especially if that nationalistic theme starts to grow there. Um, but right now, the German industry is showing some positive upside, holding at uh, levels, the highest levels that we've seen all week in the German markets. Now, switching over to the United Kingdom, obviously the geopolitics happening there. Theresa May, pretty angry at some of the EU constituents out there that look like they're stonewalling, not only um, or interjecting into their current uh, election process, <clears throat> but also could be um, putting a little bit of a monkey wrench in the Brexit negotiations with the, the EU. Uh, with that being said, though, you're starting to see financials, uh, names like Barclays, HSBC. They are moving to the upside. That's been the catalyst right now. And with the jobs number that came out in the States, uh, the catalyst continues with those types of names in those sectors, specifically the financials. Watch those today. See how they finish the day going into the close of business. And then the French CAC. Uh, France has been moving to the upside ever since Macron was named the runoff candidate against Le Pen after the 20th, April 23rd initial vote. Uh, with the vote on Sunday, we will know who it is. We're going to watch this very closely. As a matter of fact, join us for Sunday night setups. We will have all the action when the futures open up. We will be online talking about what we could expect going into next week, especially since we should have a good understanding of what's going on in the French elections. We might even know who is the next president at that point in time. Um, watch... Um, Accelerar Metal. Metal is a steel maker. Um, it took it on the chin, but it's bounced back quite well uh, early in the session. And we want to see this steel maker, see how that bounces back. Steel makers in the United States have been under pressure. Metal actually triggered that even before we saw um, U.S. steel was under pressure. We want to watch that. Uh, we're also seeing that financials are bouncing back as well, like BMP Paribas and Credit Agricole, all moving to the upside. That has helped catalyze the uh, French markets in front of this very pivotal um, French election that's due out. The results will be due out on Sunday. All right, folks, that's it for On the Open here at MarketStream.Live. Join me at 930 Eastern Time. I will be taking a look at everything that's going into the U.S. markets, especially after that jobs data that came out. It seems like it could be a decent catalyst. Let's see which way it's going. See you at 930 Eastern Time here at MarketStream.Live.